What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at SteamOS 3, otherwise known as Steam Deck OS, running on the all new Minus Forum UM690. Now if you're not familiar with this mini PC, it's an absolute powerhouse. And as you can see, it's still coming in a very small forum factor. Now on the channel, I've already created one other video with this PC. We were running Windows 11. It was just kind of my initial look. We did test out a bunch of stuff over there. And in Windows, this actually does support external GPUs over USB 4. So if you're interested in checking that video out, I'll leave a link in the description. But in this one, we're going to be testing out the same operating system that comes on the Steam Deck. And yeah, I mean, right off the bat, yeah, this definitely trumps the Steam Deck in GPU and CPU performance. And we don't have to worry about battery life with a mini PC like this because it's plugged into the wall. So we can take the power up on this thing. And before we get into testing here, I did want to give you a quick rundown on the specs, but you know, if you're interested in checking out the full review, link for that video is in the description. For the CPU, we've got the AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX, 8 cores, 16 threads, base clock of 3.3 GHz, and a boost up to 4.9. This thing is definitely a beast when it comes to mobile CPUs like this, and one of the best things about these new Ryzen 6000 chips is we do have a new GPU based on RDNA 2. And with the 6900HX, we get the 680M, this has 12 compute units built in and a clock up to 2400 MHz. Now in the 6800U, this runs at about 2200 MHz. The UM690 does support SODIMM DDR5 RAM. We've got two slots here. We can go up to 64 gigabytes at 4800 MHz. This unit here has 16 right now. We're in dual channel. We've got one M.2 SSD slot. We can also fit one 2.5 inch hard drive in this PC. It comes with all of the cabling and brackets to get this set up. It's also using Minus Forum's brand new dual heatsink cooling system, which works out really well here. And I'm actually taking this up to 54 watts from the BIOS, but we've got a boost up to around 65. And the UM690 comes with a 120 watt power supply, so it can send plenty of power to that APU. All right, so here it is. Yeah, I've actually had this up and running for a little while. I've got a bunch of games installed, and this is actually running from an external drive. That way I didn't have to wipe any M.2 drives and get in here. I've also got a Steam controller. Not a huge fan of it due to the layout, so I'll be using an Xbox Elite controller. But with the Minus Forum UM690, everything has worked so far. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, as you heard when we booted up, we do have sound here. And to control the TDP of the 6900HX, I'm just using BIOS settings right now. There are third-party applications that allow you to do this in Linux, but, you know, since we've got the settings from the BIOS, I figured we'd just use those. And, you know, everything that's going to work with the Steam Deck here is going to work with this, except for the TDP control from the menu here. We can use game profiles, we can access the variable refresh rate, we can even turn on system-wide FSR if you want to. Uh, this is actually a really nice little operating system known as Hollow ISO. So if I head over here, you can see that we've got that 6900HX, 8 cores, 16 threads, and from the BIOS I've actually just dedicated 4 gigs of VRAM here. It's really not necessary because it's going to pull what it needs anyway. But there are some games that kind of give you a warning up front telling you you don't have enough VRAM if you don't enable this, so I've just got it set up. And if you're running this operating system on powerful enough hardware, I mean, we can do 4K with it. But right out of the box, all of these games are going to start up at 720p. But we can change this easily by heading over to each game's properties, and we can set the default resolution. And with this APU, I usually just set it at 1080, and you know, if I do need to go down with like the new Spider-Man games, we can do that from in-game. But you know, right out of the box, you're only going to be able to go up to that 720p resolution. And you know, with something like Spider-Man Miles Morales, or even uh, Spider-Man Remastered, we will have to keep this at 720p. But uh, I'm going to launch this real quick and we'll get right into some gameplay because this does perform amazingly on the 6900HX. And here it is, Spider-Man Miles Morales, we're at 720p, low settings, with FSR set to performance. So this is really how we have to run this even in Windows on these APUs. Yeah, this is just a little hard to run on integrated graphics, but yeah, we can keep over 60 with the 6900HX paired up with that 680M iGPU. And if you take a look at the performance overlay, up in the top left-hand corner, that'll give us kind of the total wattage. But yeah, I mean, this thing stays nice and cool. We've also got that temp listed there. Next on the list, we've got The Witcher 3. I know it's an older one, but it's still a great game. And this system can actually run this over 60 FPS at 1080p medium settings. 
So we've actually got post-processing set to medium and the preset to medium. No hair works whatsoever, and we can get an average of around 64 FPS. And if you need more out of it, you can go down to a nice little low medium mix and get around 82 on average. Not bad at all, and it's performing great. Next up, we've got Project Cars 2, and I'm going to tell you, I don't think the resolution is really sticking on this. Supposedly, I'm at 1080p medium settings, and I'm getting over 100 FPS. Now, it could very well be like that, but usually on these APUs, at these settings, I'm around 80. And uh, yeah, I do think that this might have kind of stuck at that 720p mark. Now, from the game settings, it says we're at 1080p, and you know, in Steam itself, I did have to up that resolution. But, uh, you know, I've never seen this kind of performance out of this game on an APU. So Cyberpunk 2077 is one of those games that's really hit or miss in Linux on an APU, but on these newer 6000 APUs, we get amazing performance. I'm using the Steam Deck preset right now, we're at 720p, and I can get over 60, and we actually got an average of 67 FPS out of this game. And keep in mind, with that Steam Deck preset, we're pretty much at medium on the graphic settings with some FSR, so we could get a lot more out of this just by taking those settings down manually. Another one I always like to test in Linux is Injustice 2, and it's just great to throw a fighting game into the mix. High settings, 1080p, constant 60. I mean, I knew it was going to run this very well. I've tested this on even lower end APUs at around 1080p, low, medium mix, and we didn't have an issue there, so I figured we could definitely go up to high with this. Sonic Frontiers is one of those weird ones on Linux right now. Hopefully all of the little bugs that everybody's been experiencing are fixed in the future. Personally, I haven't run into many issues with this, even on the Steam Deck. And even on the UM690, it actually runs pretty decently. And the settings I'm using here are 1080p high, but I've got resolution scale set to 75%. At 100%, I do get some dips, but I mean, I still think it looks pretty good like this. Now when it comes to Doom Eternal, I personally think that this is one of the best performing games using Proton, especially with these little APUs. Right now we're at 720p medium settings, and I mean we're well over 60 FPS as you can see. In some cases, indoors when there's not a huge firefight going on, this will jump up to around 100 FPS on the UM690. And the last thing I wanted to do was just test a native Linux game. We've got Half-Life 2. I knew we weren't going to have any issues running this. And we could probably go up to 4K with this no problem at all. But right now we're maxed out at 1080p. So far, the Minus Forum UM690 is definitely turning out to be one of my favorite mini PCs of 2022. At least mini PCs with just integrated graphics. But uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, we can actually connect an external GPU to this while we're running Windows. Now, I personally haven't tested it with Linux, and I don't think with SteamOS we can get it to work just yet. But maybe something like Manjaro, we could get an external GPU working with this system. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. But in my original video I did, just running Windows 11 on this, we did test the RTX 3060 over USB 4. And uh, yeah, external GPUs do up the performance. I've only tested NVIDIA so far, and, you know, we could go with Manjaro and AMD or even something higher end with NVIDIA. Just let me know in the comments below what GPU you'd like to see tested with Linux or even Windows on this machine. And one more thing I'd like to mention here is the RAM in this was actually running at 4800 MHz for this video. Now, Minus Forum doesn't condone overclocking the RAM that comes with this, and they really state that, you know, 4800 MHz is the max here. But I do have some 5600 megahertz RAM coming in. And, uh, you know, as soon as I add that, we could see a lot better performance out of this. Now, remember, with these integrated graphics, it uses our system memory as VRAM. And the faster we can get that, the better performance we can get out of that iGPU. So, yeah, if you're interested in seeing a video like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you know when I post it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're interested in learning more about the UM690 or maybe picking one up, I'll leave some links in the description. And I'd also like to know your thoughts on the performance this thing's putting out right now with SteamOS 3. Personally, for a mini PC with just integrated graphics, I think this thing is flying and it's definitely trucking through everything that I've thrown at it so far. So let me know your thoughts down below. And like always, thanks for watching.